Hey everybody, I wanted to make a quick video discussing the forthcoming Time Wave Zero record by the band Blood Incantation, who I shat on pretty hard a long time ago in one of my first videos, and that video is still getting a hate parade to this day, full of angry commenters who do not understand that there is a, such a thing as objectively good or bad songwriting. This band, in particular, is good at writing riffs, and that is a great characteristic, but they cannot string a song together. And uh, combining riffs in a way where there is no narrative doesn't get you a good song and it doesn't get you a good record. People don't really understand that, and that is why I'm still getting flack for it. But either way, they're going to be eschewing all of that stuff because their next record isn't going to be metal at all. It's going to be ambient. And this kind of proves what I had to say about this band before, in that they really don't have anything to say, aside from the fact that they are wearing their influences on their sleeves and they can write a cool riff now and then. So it'll be interesting to see what will happen when they take their one strength that they have, which is being able to write cool riffs and throwing it by the wayside in favor of ambient music. And, you know, being a metal guy, I don't really listen to much ambient music. I like Dungeon Synth, but there's a lot more going on with that. Uh, but I digress on that. This this is going to be an interesting exercise. And what I'm seeing now is this band is getting such a dick riding from fanboys that even though this is going to be such a strong departure to what people are normally expecting, they're already predicting that it's going to be an amazing record. And uh, what, I'm, what I think is going to happen when this record gets released is that you're going to have a sea of pretenders talking about how much they love it when they don't at all. It's going to be the same thing that happened when uh, Caven released Jupiter. So that's a, that's a reference a lot of you metal guys aren't going to get, but uh, I grew up uh, in the metalcore hardcore scene being the lone metalhead out there that wanted to put a, a metal band together, and everybody loved Caven's earlier works, or at least the one, um, Until Your Heart Stops, I think it was called. And then they decided to put out a Pink Floyd sounding record called Jupiter. And you would see from then on, uh, a lot of people, rightly so, that were fans of the band, got pretty upset and decided not to listen to that record. But then there were the others that decided to pretend to like it because they thought that they would be able to boost their own egos by having a semblance of depth beyond what normally metalcore and hardcore listening experiences provide. I think we're going to be seeing that here. I think that this is going to be a trash fest of garbage soundscapes that people are going to pretend to like for the sake of uh, showcasing that they have depth. And a lot of what is going to be endearing about this band to fans before isn't going to be anywhere to be found. Uh, but who knows? Maybe maybe this is what they meant. They are meant to do. I, I mean, they clearly aren't good at being a metal band. So maybe they're better at being an ambient soundscape band. We'll see, but I think that this is the route a lot of musicians take when they no longer have something to say, if they ever did. Uh, not counting Burzum, because there's actually like musicality to that ambient music. I don't know if there's gonna be musicality here, but uh, I do know that the instrumental trash that they have put on before, on the last record, there, there was nothing to it, and it just reeked of pretentiousness when they decided to leak a video out for that instead of a, a legitimate metal song, and everyone was praising it for the imagery and for the vibes that it presented, but uh, either way, it was, it was hollow, it was empty. And that's what I think this is going to be. I, I really wish I knew who made this cover, because I'm sure this is another case of them flipping through an art book and choosing a cover without knowing whether or not it's been done by a different metal band, which happened on the last record. But this is a band that I think is out to shock people with, and they, and they knew before they can do that with, with their arrangements, and now they're doing it by taking a complete 180 on their musical style. And I don't think it's going to work. Uh, the only thing that I think will make it work is people that are going to lie. And a lot of people are fucking liars. So I think that's what's going to happen here. I think you're going to see a lot of reviews going totally up this record's ass because people love to look cool. And they love to lie to get there. And uh, you're not going to see that on this channel. So uh, if it's worth my time, I'll give it the adequate reaming it deserves. But that's my prediction for how this record's going to go over. We'll see if I'm right.